Hey guys, in this video we're going to have a look at a piece of software called Be Funky, which is really, really handy when it comes to making uh, unique versions of images for image ads and even for slideshow type video ads as well. Um, a big reason why it's important is that, um, well, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. One is that these images they actually stand out they look kind of cool on people's news feeds um, when they're done right and i'll show you examples soon um, but secondly it makes the image uniquely yours now if somebody else uses the same stock image that you use and they get their ad account flagged for doing something wrong then you can be tarnished a bit with the same brush just the way facebook's algorithm works and they look over the images as well and sometimes you get your, your ad rejected and you're not sure why and part of it might be an image that you chose or something like that that's say one or two other people used and got their accounts banned um, it's not necessarily in of itself gonna cause that to happen but uh, it can reduce the trust factor without you even realizing it and all it takes is a couple of things not to be quite right for you to end up with an ad rejected that otherwise wouldn't be so anyway the software um, if I click uh, get started with it uh, we can just have a quick play with it before uh, before buying it so I can go ahead and edit a photo say and this is a photo that I already uh, imported uh, it's a stock photo you and I imported it just before so I'll just continue I'll start new with this photo and click start new uh, if you don't already have a photo you just open one and click open so you could get one from a stocks free stock photography site or something like that um, uh, as an example so anyway I'm in the photo editor I might actually have to open it because it doesn't seem to have started here so um, I click open from my computer and I'm just going to go happy couple and click open now I've got my happy couple now what I want to do is I want to uh, I don't want to do one of these things I kind of want to cartoonerize it so I'm going to look for effects and then under effects I'm going to look at I think there's a lot of different types of effects in here um, just gonna find might not be under effects so it might be under artsy is that where is it yeah artsy sorry and now I go to cartoonerizer I could go to sketcher as well and have a look at other things but I'll go to cartoonerizer for a second and have a look and go wow there's all of these different effects in here um, I could click on this one for instance this is a plus feature so it's going to put the sticker on it for now while I'm playing around with it and I, I will buy the software because it looks actually really good and now bam now I've got a cartoonerized version of the image or I can dial it up or dial it down if I want to and there's different types of cartoonerization that I can do on the image and it's now a uniquely a, a unique image though if I was to use this um, so there's lots of different ways that I can go about it um, there's different types of cartoonerization I kind of like the first one um, but we'll also have a look at some other effects that may even be preferable so if I go back um, if I go to Sketcher for instance um, you might look and say um, you click on one of these and just give me a moment while it does its thing but I can now dial it back a little bit from being complete sketch like that and just have it at about that level there or something like that and then it can look quite uh, quite cool if that becomes your picture in your feed um, I'm just going to give you a few other examples here's one over here I don't think that's quite right that one I'm not a big fan of that one there uh, let's have a look see what this one turns out like uh, there's some other really cool ones I'll just show you in a moment but have a look at this this is sort of a bit funky with the yellow dots and stuff um, you know I'm not really 
sold on that one but I think that there's other settings in behind it that you can muck around with and you can change your half tones and stuff like that so as a result of oops as a result of making some changes in here you may find that it gets more and more like what you're trying to achieve now I'll just pause this video while I go find a couple of other ones that's right it's under digital art so if I go click on digital art and I click on say I'm just going to scroll down there's a couple I really like here one of them is this um, ink wash one so you, you could either have a black and white for your ad you should probably test that or a tiny little bit of color in there like that so it's quite different than the original image this is the original image and now you're talking about an image that looks sort of a bit more like that being your image for your image ad um, crosshatch I really like so let's load that up so you've got the option again of black and white I think the color is probably a little better um, like like that there it looks like a sketch I mean everyone would probably know it was taken from a photo but in general that that becoming your ad it's almost like makes people a little bit curious almost makes people stop and have a quick look at your ad um, I quite like that and then you can like I say you can change the settings and you can have a look at um, you know the brush size the hard brush hardness and you can make modifications in here uh, that adjust things as well if you want to um, and then it will re-artify the photo finishing touches and makes a few modifications based on what I just did there doesn't look dramatically different but a tiny bit different um, I quite like that I you know you take that versus the original image um, if I just put this on a slidey scale that's the original image and then now I've turned it into that so I've gone from that to that okay and I'll show you one more let's have a look at this pop art one and this like I say there's dozens of these in here of these little effects but you'll probably end up finding there's one or two go-to's that you really like um, this here I could change I know it's got sort of retro retro like colors but you could certainly um, I'm pretty sure anyway I'm not 100% sure I'm pretty sure you're able to make changes I see uh, to the colors uh, I'm guessing I've got these what's that I oh, know that's not anything um, I think you may be able to change the colors you may not be able to I'm not sure but um, maybe somewhere about there that looks kind of cool as well as a different kind of effect and it's always worth testing it out with your ads but at least they become uniquely your images um, and that's I think that's quite handy anyway for your websites and stuff like that um, and like I say there's there's so many other options in there under all these artsy effects um, I'll just click on one of these at random and just see what I haven't even seen all of these yet if I click on that one what does it look like I might look at that one down there in a moment oh yeah and then I just dial it back a little bit and you've kind of got like almost looks like an oil painting almost an oil painting yeah it's not bad oh, what about this one um, dial it back no nah, it doesn't quite look right and may some of these effects will look better depending on what you use it on like it might not look good on this photo but it might look good on another photo that I haven't seen um, I'll just load up one more just because I'm kind of curious about these underpainting watercolor let's have a look at oh, or impressionist let's go to impressionist do I like any of those uh, none of them jump out at me I'll see what that looks like and I'll have a quick look at watercolor and then I better um, well go ahead and show you what the price is and all of that sort of stuff it's not that expensive this thing um, okay so uh, yeah, you could could do that, but I'm not that into that one. Let's try this one. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean that could work as well. Slightly different, again. Um, 
And then let's go have a look over at uh, one of the other ones. What was I going to look at? Uh, watercolor. What, is, what do they look like? Huh, it's, I bet you can cha change the colors that you're using here. But this is just interesting to see what it turns out like. Whoa, that's really bright. Um, yeah, you could make it look like that, bam, or like this, try this one, I quite like that sketch one the most I think at the moment, the, no I don't like that one, let's have a look at this, oh yep, yeah, this one's good, that one's about like that, that looks pretty good could probably adjust the brightness and contrast or the paint amount a little bit or something maybe sharpen it a tiny bit see yeah it's starting to look pretty cool about like that and then what's this paint thing I see the brush size hardness strength anyway um, so let's say I'll and, and then there'll be another one worth testing anyway um, so all right let's say I want this tool so I can do this to my images and have a go then I have to click upgrade um, I can either pay seven dollars a month so you can just buy it for seven dollars get a whole ton of images sorted out for yourself um, like you can just go to places like unsplash.com by the way, to get free images, um, I'll just load that up. See, I've just gone to unsplash.com, typed in happy couple, and look, there's, there's just so many different photos of couples and stuff like that that you could work with. You know, even stuff like that can often, on that, can often do better even than showing the actual photo of the couple because that way it's, it's not sort of age specific or race specific because depending on the race of the person looking at the ad and stuff like that but you could take an image like that and cartoonerize it and um, make it look a bit um, funky in some way if you want to or at least um, more like a sketch or something like that um, it's actually quite a lot of these are holding hands um, but that's just at unsplash there are a lot of free stock photo sites out there as well um, here's another one I'm at pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Look at these. I mean, these are fantastic images. Um, like I say, you may get a lot of people using, say, that image in, a, in an ad, but you could just take it, run it through that software, and end up having your own unique image come out of it. That's what's um, that's what's awesome about this. Okay, so um, there's Pixabay as well. That's another one. Uh, there we go, Pixabay. These are Shutterstock, so they'll be paid, but these ones under here. They're all free, okay? And I'm not saying you have to have a happy couple as your ad picture, by the way. That's just the example I was using. You search for whatever you want to search for um, that you think might might work or might be relevant. Um, and then save it to your computer and then import it into, into that software. So I'm just gonna buy myself an annual account anyway at $60 a year. You could buy it, pay it monthly, $7 a month for as long as you want to use it. That's the other option as well. Um, and anyway, I think that this is a really handy tool for uh, images for your ads, but also e possibly even at images that you may wish to add into your landing pages if you so.